Hey, Dania. Welcome to my blog. And today uh, is the beginning of the series Getting My Security Agency License. And on top of that, I'm also applying for my pistol permit in New York State. Well, you start with, you got to get your applications. So, um, for the watch guard application, you just go online. For your pistol permit, um, they've opened it up to um, gun shops selling you the applications. You don't have to go to the county court, uh, county, county clerk's office to get your application. Well, in Steuben County, what happens is you get, you pay the gun shop $15 for the application. Now you're going through the steps. So, first part of it is you've got to get two, two by two pictures that's going to go along with it. And you can go right to the post office and have them done because you do it for the passport, same size. I don't understand why um, they don't have it hooked to your driver's license, just like um, getting the security guard agency license. That's attached to your driver's license, so your picture's already in the system. But you got to go out and buy... Um, those were $15 for the set. So that goes along with it. Um, the next thing for the pistol permit is you've got to go get four character witnesses. They're going to fill out this application, go down and have it notarized. And then they send it to, um, you, buy, you buy your uh, character witnesses, um, self-addressed, well not self-addressed, uh, self um, or already, um, post um, posted envelopes. So then you're going to go ahead and give that to them. They'll fill it out, get it notarized, throw it in the mailbox, and then it's going to go down to um, the county county clerk. So that's what I've done to this point. Um, <clears throat> the for the security guard agency. I've still got to, I've got to get five character witnesses, but all they got to do is sign, put their name and sign their, you know, signature on your application, and then you'll send it in with your full application. Um, I've got to get uh, uh, employment experience verification, um, as you might, as, as you saw earlier. Uh, well, or I just added to this one the fact that. You have to take a test for the agency, um, and it took me two times. You've got to have at least two years' experience. You've got to be over 21 year, uh, 25 years of age, and then you've got to be able to qualify for the experience on that. Um, the for your weapons permit, as far as experience is concerned. Um, You've got to, uh, <clears throat> is, let's see, the actual application says uh, primary second. You've got to have a primary secondary residence in Steuben County. You've got to be at least 21 years or 18 years with proof of military. So if you went in the military and you're 18, you got to proof that you got in and out. I don't know how uh, you're actually going to get in. It's right out of high school. You're gonna do three years and then you get out. Um, so, 21 years of age. Successful completion of an approved safety course, either the hunter safety course, an NRA pistol cert certificate, which is what I did two years ago. Um, whoa! Knock it off. Um, or uh, or current U.S. military ID uh, or slash. DD-214, indicating honorable discharge from the military. So, um, 
I have to do the NRA approved. And uh, so I gotta figure out why these dogs are barking. <laughs> hey, Dana. And this is a continuation of getting my pistol permit and my watch guard uh, agency license. Well, I did good. I got three um, character witnesses for both the pistol and the watch guard agency. Um, for the pistol permit, you got to make out a self addressed envelope to the county clerk, and there is a character witness form that your witness is going to have to fill out and send in um, for the watch guard agency they just have to sign the applica your application form and then just put their signature so you're all set there um, next thing that you have to do is you got to get um, a this is for the pistol permit. You've got to get passport size um, pictures. You can go right to the post office and they'll take it for you. Uh, Fifteen dollars. Then from that point, you've got to schedule your fingerprinting. So um, New York State, they have codes that you got to use for what you're going to get your finger uh, fingerprints done for. Um, and of course it costs so I just found out when I scheduled it that, that the uh, watch guard agency was $88 for the fingerprints and it's 102 for the pistol permit and if you don't get your if they deny you your pistol permit you've lost uh, the $100 so you have to keep that in mind um, your pistol permit is going to Ask questions like, um, let's see, where was, just get one for an example here. Uh, uh, let's see. No, it's agency. No, they want to worry. Watch cards. Okay, yeah. Um, are you a fugitive from justice? Are you on an unlawful user of ad uh, addictive drugs? Are you an illegal, al uh, al uh, illegal alien? Are you an alien admitted to the United States who does not qualify? <laughs> Have you been discharged from the armed forces uh, dishonorably? Have you ever been denounced? From, have you ever denounced the United States <laughs> citizenship? Uh, have you ever suffered mental illness? Have you ever? been involuntarily committed to a mental health. Uh, have you ever had a pistol permit? Or um, have you ever had a pistol or revolver license revoked? Are you under any firearm suspension or uh, ineligibility under uh, issued pursuant to the provisions of section so-and-so of the criminal procedure of law? Um, and of the Family Court Act. Uh, have, uh, have you had a guardian appointed to you to present the provisions of state law? <laughs> and are you aware of any good cause, uh, good cause uh, for the denial of the license? Uh, are you prohibited from possessing firearms under the federal law, including having been convicted of it in any court of a misdemeanor crime of domestic violence or being under indictment for a crime punishable by imprisonment of a term of exceeding, exceeding one year. So you're going to have to answer those. And on the back, you're going to have to get a notary to verify this piece of paper and you have to do this in duplicate so there you go that's for that one um, as far as uh, yeah, do that one. duplicate as far as doing a watch card um, the 
questionnaire for that one is uh, um, let's see have you been convicted of any in any state or else well for crimes or offenses equivalent to misdemeanors or felonies uh, are there any criminal charges and misdemeanors or felonies pending against you uh, has a light has a has any license or permit mission uh, application for a license permit commission register held or submitted by you or a company in which you are a principal or elsewhere been revoked um, have you ever applied for a private investigator or bill bondsman watch a guard license prior um, and you are I'm applying as a principal I'm applying as a non qualifier so yes and no and then you gotta get and you gotta get your work history um, your residence for the last three years and then uh, um, that's basically that one it's just uh, a, a big pain getting out there and getting your um, getting your witnesses for that so and that's where I'm currently at is probably getting my uh, fingerprints done and uh, I know where the heck you're gonna be able to get that done so let's see all right sweet okay um, I set my fingerprints up for their 20 minute increments so I got one for the watch guard and then I got another one for the system permit same location just 20 minute 20 minutes 20 minute differences Filling up with awesome. So here we are. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and share. Keep updated.